Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share one of the most effective methods for finding open redirects that you've probably never seen before. As always, ethical hacking requires proper authorization, so ensure you have explicit permission before testing any assets. This video is purely for educational purposes. Let's dive in. The first method I'm going to show you for efficiently finding open redirect bugs involves using the Nuclei tool with my private template. This template appends common redirect parameters to domains, URLs, and checks for any redirections. To get started, you can gather subdomains using Subfinder for your target. Once you have the domains list, run Nuclei with this template. As you can see, we've already obtained several results. Let's check them one by one. Perfect. It successfully redirected to Bing.com. This is a straightforward and effective approach. Instead of manually identifying open redirect parameters, simply apply this template across all subdomains. Now, let's move on to a more powerful method using Google dorking automation. Simply copy the provided dork, replace it with your target domain, and it will automatically extract open redirect URLs from Google search results. Within seconds, the results will appear on your screen. Look how fast that was. Let's check the total number of URLs. Perfect. It found 496 URLs. To refine the results further, you can apply my GF pattern, which filters only the URLs containing redirect parameters. After applying it, we're left with 43 URLs. If you prefer not to use GF, you can apply a simple grep rejects to achieve similar results. Next, we'll check whether these URLs are vulnerable to open redirects using tools like QSR Replace or HTTPX. And there we have it multiple URLs confirmed as vulnerable. Let's confirm them one by one. Perfect. All of them are successfully redirecting to the malicious domain without any false positives. To clean up the URL list, we can use the SED command. Now we have a refined list of clean URLs ready for our next fuzzing. I'll copy this list to the LOX's tool folder for the next step, where we'll use another powerful method to find open redirects more efficiently. Now, select your URL list provide the payload list and hit enter. The tool will apply multiple bypass payloads and display the results. I'll interrupt the scan for now, but you can let it complete. After the scan finishes, you'll have an option to save the results in an HTML file with a clear user-friendly layout. Now you can verify the results. You'll see that all the identified URLs show redirections without any false positives. Let's move on to another method using HTTPX and passive URL tools. First, obtain a domainless file by any tool. The next step is to collect all passive URLs from the domain using tool like GAU you can use other as well. After the scan completes, you'll have a comprehensive URL list. From here, we'll use the same method as before replacing query parameters with a malicious URL and checking for redirection. If the response matches the target domain, it will display it on the screen. You can then verify the redirections manually. For a more advanced approach, this command uses my custom open redirect payload list. It checks for google.com in the response and displays any successful redirections. After the scan is complete, you can manually verify the URLs for further validation. Also, you can use these methods that are effective for single URLs, multiple subdomains, or even large URL lists. Now, let's check a classic method using curl. This is straightforward. Just run this command to replace all query parameters with an evil.com URL and check for redirection in the response. You can open the URLs to see the redirection results. Another excellent approach involves using VirusTotal to gather URLs. Simply provide a domain or domain list, and it will return all the associated URLs from VirusTotal. You can apply my GF pattern for refined results, or follow the same QSR place and HTTPX method to check for vulnerabilities. Now, let's move to another practical method using FFUF and Burp Suite. First, create a file with all redirect parameters. Then use this FFUF command to fuzz multiple parameters and try open redirect bypass payloads from my private list. If it matches google.com in the response, it will display the results. 
For additional verification, send all FFUF traffic to Burp Suite for manual review. I forgot to change the site.com domain for this demo, but you can apply it to your target in the same way and manually check these URLs by applying Burp filters. For another method, capture the URLs you want to test, intercept them using Burp Suite, and send them to the intruder and select the position you want to test. Copy all my open redirect payloads from GitHub and paste them here. Make sure to disable URL encoding and the exclude HTTP header option. You can also use greetpmatch for google.com for better filtering. Now start the attack and once the scan is finished, filter using 300 series response code. Check the results manually, one by one. Or search for google.com in the response using prep matching. For further filtering, apply rejects, match, or other burp options. E. For a simpler method, you can use Burp Suite's built-in scanner. Just select the insertion point and it will automatically test for vulnerabilities on the parameter. If it finds any vulnerabilities, it will display them on the burp dashboard. I've included all these methods in my Medium article, where you can find the commands and additional manual methods to try. I hope this helps you find open redirect bugs more efficiently. That's a wrap for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're always updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.